What's up guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the iOS 5 GM firmware using the new Red Snow 0.9.9. Now this is a tethered jailbreak so you will need to use Red Snow when you want to reboot your device. And this jailbreak supports the iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generations, the 1st generation iPad, the iPhone 3GS, and the iPhone 4, both Verizon and AT&T um, running iOS 5 GM version. Now if you are unlocked via Ultra Snow or need to preserve your baseband, do not upgrade to iOS 5 to jailbreak or you will you lose your unlock um, and maybe even permanently lose your unlock. So with all that being said, the first thing you're going to want to do is download the iOS 5 beta or GM firmware. Um, if you're not sure where to get the iOS 5 GM firmware, I'll have a link down in the underbar to all the firmwares. Make sure you download the corresponding firmware for the device you want to jailbreak. Um, just so you guys know, GSM for is uh, AT&T for the iPhone and CDMA is Verizon for the iPhone. Those are the only two things you should have problems with. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Just make sure that it is the correct device for your firmware or this will not work. Next, you're going to want to download the Red Snow package. Again, I will have a link down in the underbar to where you can download it. It'll uh, take you to this site and uh, you can just scroll down here and uh, you'll see the two download links for Mac and for Windows. Once you have it downloaded, open it up and you should see a window that looks similar to this. This is Red Snow. This is what we will be using to jailbreak. Now all you have to do is uh, connect up your device to the USB to your computer and uh, once it's plugged in what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to click the extras button first and what we're going to need to do is click on select IPSW and it's going to open up this window here and you're going to want to find the correct iOS 5 GM restore file that you should have downloaded. Um, if you can't find it, just search for it, but uh, just save it to your desktop and you'll be able to find it more easily. Find it, click it, click open, and you'll give this little pop-up window here and it'll say the following firmware was identified. It'll be used for this version of Red Snow. Just again, make sure that it is the correct firmware for your device or it won't work. Click OK, and once you do that, go ahead and just click back. Again, make sure your device is plugged up via USB and click jailbreak. It's going to do some things to the firmware file we selected. Just give it a second to do what it needs to do here. Okay, then you'll come to a screen that looks like this. You'll have a couple of different options. The only option you really need to do is uh, click Install Cydia. Everything else is not really too important. And just click Next. Now it's going to give you some instructions. I'll just go ahead and show you what it wants you to do. You're going to want to, again, plug in your USB and then just power down your device. Make sure it is all the way off, not in sleep mode or anything. Just hold down the home and power button for a little while and it will turn completely off. If it comes back on, just again, hold it down and turn it completely off. There we go. Now click next and it's going to give you some instructions. You're going to hold down the power button for three seconds. Without releasing the power button, you're going to hold down the home button as well for about 10 seconds. It's going to count it down for you. And after about 10 seconds, your phone will turn off again Then let go of the power button, but keep holding down the home button until the timer runs out or until it begins to jailbreak. And you can either keep holding down the home button or let go of the home button, uh, but it's going to do its thing here. Just give it a couple minutes. Shouldn't take too long at all. Don't touch anything. Don't open up iTunes. Don't exit Red Snow. Don't unplug it. Um, just let it do its thing and uh, you shouldn't have any problems at all. And I'll just go ahead and uh, let this play out so you can see what it's supposed to do. Again, this shouldn't take too long. Uh, we'll just go ahead and wait for it to finish up here. See this white scrolling text? That's not a problem. It's supposed to do that. Again, just leave it alone. Don't touch anything. And uh, let it do its thing here. It shouldn't take too long. Alright, once the white text is gone, you see a little jogging pineapple. Again, just let it do its thing. It's finishing up here and it shouldn't take too much longer. All right, and once it's all done, you're going to see the lovely silver Apple logo here, and uh, it's going to reboot your device, and once it's powered back on, you should be in your new jailbroken state. Um, now, this isn't the last thing 
that you're going to need to do. You're going to have to take a couple more steps um, to make sure that Cydia runs properly and uh, that you don't have any problems. So we'll just let it turn back on here and I'll show you what you have to do. Okay, just go ahead and unlock it and slide to your last page and you'll see a white Cydia icon. Now unfortunately when you uh, tap on it it's not going to open, it's just going to keep crashing. Now the only way to fix that is to head on over to Red Snow once again and go back all the way to the beginning to where it says Extras. Click Extras and click Just Boot. Now what's this, what this is going to do is uh, it's just basically going to restart your device and make sure that uh, Cydia works correctly and that it doesn't keep crashing. So again, it's going to give you some instructions. All it's saying is completely power down your device once again. So we'll go ahead and do that. And once it's off, you can click Next. And again, it's going to ask you to hold down the power button for 3 seconds, hold down the Home button for 10 seconds, and once you've done that, hold down the Home button for about 15 seconds. And again, once this screen appears, just let it do its thing. It shouldn't take nearly as long as the jailbreak took. Um, this is basically just uh, restarting your iPhone and patching Cydia to make sure that it doesn't crash. So again, just let it do its thing. Don't touch anything. Don't open up anything. Don't unplug it. Um, just let it do its thing, and uh, this shouldn't take too long. And you know you've done it correctly when the pineapple comes up instead of the Apple logo. Again, just let it load and it will load up in its newly jailbroken state and uh, this time when it loads back up, Cydia will be 100% functioning and you'll be able to open it up and install things uh, without it doing that uh, stupid crashing thing that it does. Alright, and once it's turned back on, go ahead and unlock it one more time. And again, slide all the way back to the last page and you should see the normal Cydia icon now, the brown with the package and you can go ahead and open it up and go ahead and just click developer so you don't have any filters and there you go click done and you should be good to go pretty simple not too many spots where you can mess up but if you did if anything went wrong go ahead and post a comment down below or send me a message and I'll do my best to help you out if this worked for you be sure to post a comment down below letting us um, know that it did work again if you have any problems let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video